welcome to another lesson for this week our topic today is standard unit of measures and we're going to be looking at unit 21 standard unit of measures from page 76 to page 85 page 76 to page 85 now there is a YouTube to which you can still learn and check out the topic so our lesson outline for this week they are centimeters and meters estimating and rounding length kilometers weight and capacity time we're going to talk about am and pm what it means and here is a youtube link at which it can guide you and help you study more right in this week outline we have five lessons and i'm going to divide them into three parts so let's go to our next outline our objectives they are we're going to read write measures round up and other length weight and capacities we're going to estimate length we're going to convert between units of length of weight and of capacity understand and record times using am and pm recognize and use the units of measurement for length capacity weight time so their units of measurement is centimeter meter and kilometer while capacity is milliliter and liter weight is gram and kg and time is second hour minute and day all these things we're going to be doing all that in our lesson for this week now our first outline centimeters and meters so when you're talking about centimeters and meters it's talking about measurement what you can use to measure now measuring with a ruler so centimeters are used to measure short distances centimeters are used to measure short distances while meters are used to measure longer distances so centimeter are for short distance and meters are for long distance now 100 centimeter equals to one meter that is the standard unit of measure it's standard so here is a YouTube link at which you can look at centimeters and meters now what do I have to use to measure measuring with a ruler now let's check this ruler out you will see you have mm this is milli millimeter and this is centimeter but we are measuring in centimeter we are measuring in centimeter and if you look at the ruler depends on the kind of ruler you have you might have a short ruler or a long ruler depending on the type of ruler that you have now these are the measurements this is 0 1 2 and this is 2 15 now what do I want to measure I can measure with my ruler for example I want to measure the length of this pen what is the length now here is how to measure it must start from zero it must start from zero you can see the alignment is on zero now you look at where it stopped now it is measuring six centimeter six centimeter now that is how to use a ruler to measure now let's check another object this is a pencil now if I want to measure this pencil you can see that it is still the same alignment starting from zero right 
and this is seven centimeter the pencil is seven centimeter so if you want to measure you can measure with a ruler you can measure with a tape row a meter row you'll find that meter row with those people that are selling um, building materials those people that are selling clothes you see it there with them a meter row it's used to measure longer distances now let's see some examples that we have now this is centimeter look at the ruler this is from 0 to 15 now the length of this key is 5 centimeter long you can see it's it's starting from 0 so the length of this key is 5 centimeter long what about these blocks is 10 centimeter now, what about this pencil it is 12 centimeter so you can measure different objects so far the object you are holding is not too long it is short and you can measure using a mixture of centimeters and meters so you can measure using centimeter you can also measure using meters now let's see the mixture of meter and centimeter now here is a ruler it's measuring meter and here centimeter this is meter centimeter meter centimeter so it's talking about 1 meter 10 20 1.3 1.4 1.5 and so like that so let's measure let's see what this measure this rod this is a rod so the rod is talking about like this is 140 145 150 the rod is about 1 meter 45 centimeter yes 1 meter 45 centimeter long now if you want to convert 1 meter 45 centimeter it's, it's still doing talking about 1.5 meters now when you want to convert from meter to centimeter this is what you are going to do you are going to multiply by 100 okay you multiply by 100 now if you try it with your calculator 1.5 times 100 it's going to give you 145 centimeter now the decimal point separate the centimeter from the meter now let's see 32 centimeter now if you want to change to meter you are going to divide by 100 32 divided by 100 if, if you divide 32 divided by 100 it is going to give you 0 0.32 meter and that is how we got about changing from centimeter to meter and meter to centimeter so if you want to if you want to convert your centimeter to meter you will divide by 100 and if you want to convert meter to centimeter you will multiply by 100 let's check out some examples now how long is the object now this is our measurement this is our ruler can see zero starting from zero and this is centimeter now how long is this object now let's look at this this is zero one two three four five six seven eight nine it is ten now let's see if we're correct bravo it is ten centimeter now these are different measuring devices that we have we have a thermometer we have a beaker, we have a scale, we have a tape rule, we have a ruler. We have, this is the measuring tip I'm talking about. Now, this one, you can see it at the construction site. Okay, this is pan balance. You can see this one, there are big um, the bakers, the chef. You can see this one, yeah. And this is the ruler. You're already familiarized, you're familiar with this ruler. 
and also this syringe you're familiar with it when you go to the hospital okay this is a cylinder measuring it's a cylinder it measures liquid right now let's look at this object which measurement will you use to measure how long or tall centimeter or meter now if you want to measure this FL tower, what are we going to use? I'm going to use centimeter or meter. Yes, it is meter because the FL tower it's a very tall building. All right. Now, what about this? You can use a ruler. You can already see it's using a ruler. Now, look at this. It's using a ruler as well. What can you use to measure this in meter? Here a meter and here you can use a ruler to measure so when you want to measure with a ruler that is telling you a short length or a short distance but when you are using a meter that means it is no longer short it is a long distance all right now let's go to how to convert centimeter to meter and meter to centimeters now if you want to convert meters to centimeter you multiply the number by 100 that was what i explained earlier so you want to convert meters to centimeter you multiply the number by 100 now here is an example a stop sign has a height of 2.4 meter find the height in centimeter so already we have meters we want to convert to centimeters. Now if we want to convert to centimeter, we'll multiply by 100. Now when you multiply 2.4 divided times 100, it's going to give you 240 centimeter. Now if we want to make centimeter to meters, you divide by hundred now a pack has a width of 280 centimeter find the width in meters now one meter equals to 100 centimeter now 280 because we're already given we want to change this to meter we're going to divide by hundred Divide by 100. Divide by 100. So when you divide by 100, it's going to give you 2.8. You're moving the decimal in two places. One, two. One, two. So our meter is now 2.8 meter. How I divided the centimeter I was given by 100 I'm from meters to centimeter I'm going to multiply now here is a task on page 76 to page 77 now you want to write this distances in meters and centimeter now here is an example 167 meter now this is 1 meter 67 centimeter and another one 184 you can say 1 meter 84 centimeter here 1 meter 8 centimeter and so on now here is example 2 148 centimeter you you can convert it to meter by doing what we have centimeter and you want to convert to meter what are you going to do you are going to with what we are given here, you do what you want to convert to centimeter, you will multiply. But you want to convert to meters, you will divide. So let's go to the next option now. These are the tasks at which you will do. Now here you want to put greater than or less than or equal to. Now greater means big this sign means less so 1.86 meter 
1 meter 68 centimeters so this 1.8 is greater is greater so this is the greater sign that's the greater sign all right now that's going to do from a to h now here is number five now you can see we are not in school but you can do it at the comfort of your home you're going to measure you're going to use meters or centimeter to measure these distances now you're going to write centimeter or meter for each now this is the length of your classroom what are you going to use you know how your classroom is very big so definitely you can use a ruler what about the width of a book this is so small here it's, it's small the height you can see the length of your foot and the football pitch what can you use to measure them can you do that and send it on class dojo and try this we're going to write these distances in centimeter half half means one over two so what is one over two meter two one over four that is telling you two one quarter this one is three quarter one and a half meters that is one thousand five hundred seven three over four seven three quarter now we're going to the second outline estimating a rounding length estimating a rounding length now when you estimate length you can round them to the nearest centimeter nearest 10 centimeters or nearest meter nearest meter now this basketball player is approximately two meter tall now look at this this is the basketball player this is his height it's exactly two meter tall and his foot is approximately 30 centimeter long why because the foot it's not too long it's very short but the height is long that's why you have meter and centimeter the ribbon is between 16 and 17 centimeter in length this is 16 centimeter to the near, nearest centimeter can you see this blue ribbon this is from zero so you have like maybe 16.4 now if you want to round this up or estimate it you can say it is 16 centimeter all right now let's see how long this object is is it 30 or 25 now look at the length of the spoon yeah it is 25 let's see yes good job we are correct now about how long is the object now look at it from zero it's even more than 30 so the answer is 30 centimeter 30 centimeter now here is a task at which you're going to use to practice Number one is estimate these distances and round to the nearest meter. All these you can use your house, the height of the door, your chair, your room, your brush, your table. All you need to do is do what? Complete it and round to the nearest meter. Round to the nearest meter. And here is another page number two. You will estimate this distance around to the nearest 10 centimeter. Now, this is very personal. It's going to be talking about your foot, the length of your arm, the width of the book, the seat of my chair, the length of a pencil, and my desk is approximately. All these things, you can do it at the comfort of your home. Now, number three. 
you estimate these distances around to the nearest 10 centimeter now look at this zip this pin is approximately how long you can use your ruler or meter ruler so use the ruler to measure it and write the measurement here now what about this zip the length of this zip is approximately you can use your ruler as well now what about this pin you measure it using your ruler make sure that the ruler is at the zero point now what about the height of this tower rail the height of the tower rail you measure it this is the height from here to here is the height you measure and write down your report and f this timber is approximately dash i now here is the timber how many centimeter i you can get to do that in your free time all right now here is the first part of the video and if you have any questions kindly send a message and i will reply thank you